Guys, I'm really excited because it's finally my day off. I got my nails done last week actually with Carrie's kids, my best friend. Um, Auntie treated them to getting their nails done, which was super, super fun. It's been a minute since I've been able to do like literally anything because that bitch has been broke and I feel good. So um, a little bit of update. I worked like 70 something hours in six days. Got off of work yesterday around two, finally during the daytime. Okay, that's why you haven't seen me much because I've been literally working from like 10 a.m. to like past 10 p.m. It's been insane. Making good money though. Making good money. Um, actually kind of making friends at work. It's like fun. Anyway, I was like dog tired, ugly, literally no breaks. And so I wasn't able to like post much content or anything. But I feel really good. I feel like I'm slimming down a little bit because I'm literally running, 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 running. And hardly eating anything. And yeah, so I feel like I'm toning up a little bit. It's like a workout and that's how I look at it as. I'm like, I'm getting paid to make a better body, baby. A better body. I'm like working out and whatever. Anyway, shut up. So wait, hold on. Cause this isn't gonna work. Okay, I'm stuck. I'm waiting for my friend Carrie to come. So I was gonna feel like kind of stupid. But like also like who gives a fuck? Josh and I broke up again. Weird. My boss called, they wanted me to work. I'm like, no, <laughs> not tonight, any other day, tomorrow early, whatever it is. Cause if I have to work on a day, I don't care if I have to work the whole fucking day, I might as well. Like, what am I gonna do, sit here? Uh, the Pilates instructor told about this. What do I say in response to this? We love DoorDash. Let me see. I just DoorDashed my stuff, some beauty products and some Diet Coke because Lord knows, honey, we don't have enough of that. Okay. I got some Dr. Teal's. Oh shit, it's lavender. I wanted eucalyptus, but they must have been out. Turns out Target does have Jergens instant tanner mints. So I'm gonna spray tan. And then I was out of shampoo. So I'm proud of myself though because the oh, lighting's gonna play me. I'm super proud of myself because look for my drink. That's not my proud. I wanted to get like a bunch of other stuff. I wanted to get like other beauty supplies and candles. Cause like I've made some good money, you know? And like my shit's paid, but I didn't. I didn't, I was actually just at the store yesterday um, for like smart ones and stuff because I eat food where I work so much that I'm getting kind of like sick of it. And I'm sick of ramen noodles kind of like it's a new day, it's a new era. I'll go back to the smart ones. Still on my jalapeno and onion kick, so that's awesome. And that can, or that box of canned Diet Coke just like sends shivers down my spine. I'm like excited. Okay, so it's a new day. We are working hard. I actually picked up another shift today. I feel like a workaholic for real, which is kind of exciting. <gasps> but guess what, guys? Guess what? Guess what? I'm on Tinder Gold. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not even going to give it energy because, like, if you give things energy, it just means that you, like, care to talk about it. And I'm in a new stage in my life where what's meant for me will be, right, whatever. Josh did me so fucking bogus. It just is. And I'm not going to spend my days living in that, like, mental hell of wondering if a motherfucker can act right because clearly he can't. So whatever. So I told him that I wanted to see other people and like, we just should. And that's just what we're going to do. Um, it's just over. So whatever. Okay. I was like, I wasn't sad about it this time. I was just like, well, you know, whatever. Cause I've been hurt so much in the past. Like, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. So anyway, I went out with my friends. I got all beautiful, like working on my like stuff. Like I'm, I'm enjoying myself and I worked really hard. So like, whatever, like I can finally go get my Botox soon and like my hair extensions. So anyway, I'm signing up for Tinder Gold because I want to know out of curiosity. Like I just did one month because like whatever. Obviously, I'm not going to be on it very long. 
I don't plan to. And it's not like I actually want to find anything or like think I'll find anything on there. Um, but, 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 you know, you always feel more confident with stuff. Like I haven't had my nails done in a year now. I feel better. Like girls just feel better with that kind of stuff. Like it just is, right? But I'm not feeling 100% because I don't have my Botox. Like my body's looking really good. Like I'm happy with myself there. Like whatever. But just like a little bit of Botox, which is like seriously only like a couple hundred dollars. Like I'll feel more myself. Anyway, so all my pictures are like current and whatever. And I was like amazed to see who like liked me. Like I wanted to know like age, race, like what it was, right? And I was shocked to find it's like guys almost boys actually like I was like they're like 23 24 to like 50 right but the majority of them are in their 20s late mid to late 20s and then then jumps to like 45 there's not a lot of guys in their 30s that like I don't know what it is but anyway they're super fucking cute and I was so fucking loyal to Josh like I loved him he was my everything and so I really wasn't looking because I'm really not like that. Because, like, if I'm I'm really into someone, I'm just into somebody. And so, like, the joke's on him. Like, whatever. Um, but now I'm like, okay, well, what what could it be like? Like, what is it, you know? So, um, I don't know. There's, like, guys who own construction businesses. Like, big wigs at John Deere. Like, I'm like, oh, my God. But here's the crazy thing about me. I don't know. Like, so this one guy we're kind of talking to today, um, he's probably gonna get on here and be like, oh my God, like what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's just the way it is with social media. Okay. But anyway, he owns a construction business and he's good looking. He's good looking, but he, he's like obsessed with me already. I hate that. Like, he's like, um, I wouldn't say obsessed, but like he'll message me and be like, Hey, what are you, Hey, what are you doing? Here's pictures of my kids. Uh, how do you feel about kids? Um, where do you want to live? I can help you get a place. Like, which are all really nice, super nice things. But for some reason, my fucked up brain is like, Oh my God, you're over killing it. Like you're, you're just coming on too strong. When in reality, the one, like the one, I love that shit with, right? Like I love when a guy is super obsessed and we talk all day and we're up each other's ass. Like, I just love that shit. And of course, here comes along someone who is like, got money, a good looking guy, loves kids, is cool with all whatever. And I'm like, oh, God, what a fuck, you know what I mean? But then, then I'm like, yes, daddy to the homeless. You know what I mean? Like, fucked up. Like, what? Um, it's actually kind of funny because my, okay, so my best friend in the whole world, you guys know who she is. She comes to see me like all the time at work and she came in today and she's like, it's a different world, baby. It's a magic world. And nobody loves you more than I do. I'm like, I know. Um, but like, you have to get rid of things that aren't for you and aren't in your energy just to like clear it up and make room for better things, for things that are like for your current path. And that's what I'm doing. And I wanted to get in there. I'm like, I gotta know my motherfucking soulmate for real. Like I'm not swiping through a million ugly people who look like dry elbows to find him okay like and, and i probably won't find him on tinder hopefully hopefully he just runs into me Ooh, well not with the car god it was like yeah my mind went like a crazy place i don't know i don't know but i'm excited about it like the possibility of sharing i just want to share my life with somebody and have it be like good and real and I just have never opened my eyes that there are other people, there are other men out there. Oh my God. Like who knew? I've never even seen a man since like I've been with Josh. And that's the truth. Like I just don't, I'm not like that. Um, these guys are fucking hot. Like they're smoking hot and like buff and have money. But, and I don't know, but then, not, then they're asking me to do stuff and I'm like, God, you want to do something already? Like you want to go to the movies? I'm like, with me? Like, uh. Because I'm traumatized and fucked up. So I'm trying to like get out of my comfort zone. I'm definitely not going to go do anything tonight. I, I was invited to go to this new movie theater with a bar in it or something. The reality is, is I actually hate going to the movie theater unless it's a scary movie. And to sit there with somebody you don't know watching a movie and then it's like this. You know? Like you can't even conversate. No. 
and I'm awkward as fuck. I'll be like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Not really, but you know what I mean? Like, fuck. So anyway, I went to the casino last night and it sucked. So a really good friend of mine, his name is Tyler. Um, we've been friends for like 10 years. He's a really cool guy. Um, he's like addicted to blackjack and I'm like, maybe you have an issue. But like, also I love blackjack, but I didn't, I wasn't like the energy has to be right. The energy just was not right last night. The energy was perfect to like open my eyes and show me the truth, but it wasn't gamble energy. So I only spent 40 bucks. I played my planet moolah and I was like content with just like the night, how it went. I was like, okay, I was meant to be here, but not to play games. So I'm glad because I wasn't winning anyway. Um, he lost $200 in blackjack and then we left. I was only there like two hours. And then I picked up another shift for a friend of mine at work and made some money. And now I'm going to get back on Tinder Gold and swipe. But I want to check in with you guys. I haven't been on here much because I've been working like crazy. Um, which is good. It's all positive stuff. I had to like work some kinks out with my social life. So I'm finally ready to just like accept things for how they are. And um, look to a brighter future. So... My God, all these people, they have crushes on me. <laughs> Who knew, you know, it's exciting. So yeah, we're not being sad this year. We're not doing that. 